Hey guys, what's up? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with a ROM and a flash review. This is going to be for the ViewSonic G Tablet, a new device that I'll be supporting. Uh, if you're new and you're from the ViewSonic G Tablet community on XD8 Developers or other ROMs, uh, I mean uh, other forums, then uh, hey, welcome to us. We're MobileTechVideos.com and we review ROMs, we teach you how to ROM devices, uh, we do a lot of uh, stuff and basically put it in video form to help people understand things. So today's ROM in a flash review is on Vegan Tab version 1 beta 5.1.1 uh, and this is a ROM for the G tablet so let's go ahead and take a look. We'll be presenting this to you in landscape mode so we'll go ahead and unlock. Obviously you already see the unlock uh, has been themed with a blue. Now we've gone with the standard Vegan Tab background as you see here but it's easily changeable uh, to several other wallpaper schemas such as that one uh, you can go black the green uh, the teal different black one blue red green uh, silver and then there's a lot of nice other ones that you can pick from as well now the first thing you're going to notice about the vegan tab is it's going to give you a much more friendly uh, UI much like that of an Android phone and um, it's really nice, especially if you're used to uh, to the phone uh, Android layout. Now it's uh, it's Android 2.2. If we go into our settings and the about, you can see more about what's going on here. Android 2.2. There's no baseband, obviously, because there's no modem. And uh, build number is down there. It's Harmony 2.2, 2.6.3, um, 2.9, which is a standard 2.2 kernel. And uh, it's vegan tab, and you can see uh, the more more info there. Uh, so, and one, one of the things here, obviously you see the nice animations flashing in and flashing out there, but one of the other nice things is, is it gives you these menus that you're very familiar with. This is the standard uh, familiar looking menu. So, uh, for like many of you guys are probably weren't used to the, the G tablets um, proprietary menus um, and some of the things like that. So it's really easy to, to navigate around if you're familiar with an Android phone. So. Um, a couple other things that have been changed on Vegan Tab include maps with the 5.1 with the rotation fix. Market has been updated to 2.2.11. Updated drivers, which should update your speed a little bit on the device, uh, maybe more noticeable in Quadrant. Also, if you're new to these ROM reviews, stick around. At the end of the review, we will post up our Quadrant and Linpack scores. And uh, the frame rate has also been changed from 50 to 60 to give you a fast, faster refresh time. Now, this is the standard gingerbread launcher that comes with it. I prefer you change it because it does have the hard button for the phone, which is actually pointless on this device. So um, I, I would advise the developer to maybe uh, use a different launcher, but it's a great ROM, don't get me wrong. Uh, the Froyo keyboard has been replaced with the gingerbread keyboard. So if we wanted to, say, type an email, um, or even launch our email. The buttons are very big and nice for the G tablet and they're super easy to type. So um, that's one thing that I definitely like there. Uh, the Atom Sniffer app has been added as well as a keyboard for that option. So if we went under settings and language and keyboard, uh, we have uh, the tap and tap Western keyboard, Android keyboard, and the gingerbread keyboard, which we're currently using. And obviously, the gingerbread keyboard has a ton of settings, so you can really make this your own. You can give haptic feedback, control how hard it vibrates, sound on key press, auto capitalization, and a lot more. And in particular, the, um, the little microphone option is absolutely necessary. <laughs> especially for me. Uh, sometimes I'm lazy and I do like to just talk to the device and uh, it's super easy to do that such as this. Hi, my name is Josh and I like mobile tech videos. And uh, it's actually dead on. Hi, my name is Josh and I like mobile tech videos. So very simple to use, very fast ROM and very smooth. Wi-Fi locks great. I have had no signal strength issues. I'm currently probably about I don't know, 75 to 100 feet away, and I'm going through walls with no issues there. Uh, this ROM is sporting a new kernel thanks to Rothnik, and uh, a lot of new features have been compiled into this, and it's obviously in development and continues to work on it. Uh, the lag on wake fix has been fixed, so no laggy tablets after they fall asleep. And there's a lot of other things such as NTFS support, 
which gives you the ability to mount drives. Formatted NTFS, which works great with Windows machines. Um, obviously the extended power menus, if we hold power, we get the extended power menus and now we have a reboot option, which is very, very nice um, and very, very useful in this scenario. Also your notifications, you can, you're can you able to drag this down and it's got a smoked uh, pane glass type look to it. Drag that back up. As for stock apps, we've added a few, but it comes with a lot of the gingerbread style apps and icons such as the camera. The calculator is the gingerbread calculator expanded for the tablet, which is very easy to use. The gallery is great. Um, a little picture here is a baseball player. And uh, it's the familiar uh, gallery that actually works really well with zoom and multi touch. So it's uh, definitely something nice to see. I missed that on my Atrix. I have a terrible gallery and I need to reinstall Ginger Blur because it gives me that nicer gallery as you see there. Um, as mentioned, the maps and market have been updated, a lot of the other Google apps have been updated, and then you get a lot of the typical things, such as the YouTube, and uh, it's pre-rooted out of the box, obviously, so you won't have any problems with rooting the uh, tablet, there's no need for it. Um, so, anyways, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about the Vegan Tab 5.1.1. It's a fantastic ROM for a great device. I encourage you to donate to the developer. You can donate to him by following the link in the description below. You can also donate to us if you would care to support our cause in the link in the description below as well. Check us out at mobiletechvideos.com. If you have any other questions and want to follow us, uh, you can do that on Twitter. You can like us on Facebook. And we always encourage that you subscribe to us here on YouTube. And you can do that by clicking the nice little orange-yellow subscribe button. A couple of known issues to real quick before we leave off. Videos are not being automatically scanned on the external SD card. So if you shoot a video and it's not in the gallery, it's not going to be because there's no automatic scanning for that. Um, the newest market does seem to have some problems uh, with the partitioning that has been set for this ROM. The fix is to obviously just repartition your SD back to the default 2048 uh, for each sector. Uh, you can do that through Clockwork Mod. So thanks to Prongen for informing us of that. So that's Vegan Tab 5.1.1. Be sure to subscribe. Check us out at mobiletechvideos.com. Always donate to your developer as they put in lots of time and effort on this. And we'll catch you on the next review. I hope to pick you up as a viewer if you're a G-Tablet fan.